Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So here we go. Uh, yeah. So anyway, what we gotta do here is be a Goron. We've gotta pop that ocarina over there. We gotta pop out well our drums, not our ocarina, because <laughs> you know it's our instrument, and then we play the song. I played it a little fast, but that is okay. Since it's Goron's lullaby, the one that is uh, kind of having trouble over there with maybe a cold or something, he's like, uh, 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 oh, 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 I'm feeling drowsy, very drowsy. Nap time. And then he falls to his death, never to be heard from again. Okay, that's not really true. But we can now go on ahead. And you know what I should do? I should... Yeah, I should do that. Grab a fairy. There we go. Voila. And I will also move it right out of my inventory right away before I accidentally use it. <laughs> So, now we can get across here, which means we can also get over to the next dungeon. Oh! I should be spinning a little bit more spiky, if at all possible. That would be lovely. Uh, I'm gonna, before I go in the dungeon, I'm going to show you something here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you have to interrupt me, don't you? Yeah, there's White Wolfus hanging out around here, but over here is a place that we're going to have to go to after, yeah? It's the Fairy Fountain! Oh, no! Please hear that plea! Please save the fairies trapped in the snow and double fight the fairies who magical and bring them back to us! <laughs> oh. that, that's my interpretation. Alright, let's move on. So you know where the fairy fountain is now, so we're gonna go pop back over there after we finish the temple. I'll just give you a continuing tour around here. You can recover... Oh, oh yeah, there's these guys here. They're white bows. There's... They're exactly the same as the black ones, basically. <laughs> Only they're... They're more camouflaged to the environments. But anyway, the real way that we gotta go is up this slope here. Can I climb? I really can't... <laughs> I really can't climb this slope as a go on. I, have, I find that hard to believe, but okay. Get our... Spikiness charged up, and we need to get this all the way to the top because, yeah, there's bold. What? Because there's boulders along the way, but whatever. I, I somehow made it. And careful, this wall here, it'll bounce you. you gotta kind of angle yourself to the inside as you're hitting the wall so you don't fall off. Snowhead Temple! Dungeon number two. We're in. And, uh, uh oh, there's critters already! You know what would be better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> way, way better. And this block here. Hmm, this is kind of big. It's going to take more than average strength to move this thing. Ah, I don't believe that. Eh. 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 Okay, it's true. You need to be a Goron. Let's push it. <laughs> and once we push it past, like, a couple notches, it'll just kind of fall into place. There we go. And you can't break these... Uh, rib cage like things and this really does look like a rib cage if you ask if you ask me but whatever whatever it should be white wolf us hanging out here very hard to fight in a goron I swear <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna end up switching forms whenever it suits me best in fact I I don't know if we I'll even need to be a goron all that much in here I mean yeah for some of the uh, jumps and stuff like that but I mean for the actual traversing and platforming you know stuff like that so there's a locked door and there's some frozen stuff over there it is and there's also uh yeah so this is blocking you in there's also falling icicles you gotta look out for and in this room this is another one of those rooms where it's not clear in the slightest yeah, remember it, it's saying that there's slippery places like this, and I said that there there's not really it's not really clear where there's a slippery place. Well, she's pointing out that this is a slippery place, but where 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 might you perhaps start your slippery run here? Well, first, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to do that. Yeah, 
So yeah, you can't really do anything about those duders from here now, can ya? So, you know, it, it really looks like you know, you're gonna have to start it somewhere or, you know, behind the bridge. So let's just, let's just do that. Let's just start it over here. Oh, no, we don't, we don't have enough room to make it! Oh, no! Yeah. So, the key to that is you have to start it all the way back over at the wall. Like, I mean, all the way over at the wall. <laughs> It's not exactly clear. I mean, yeah, I mean, I suppose you do want to give yourself as much room as possible in a way, but the thing about it is that's still kind of, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I fell down here is because there's two easily accessible stray fairies that you can get down here. But then you're like, well, how the heck, how the heck do I cross the lava there? Well, there's a Goron. You just walk right in there, no big deal. You just have a nice hot bath, it's just good times. Yeah, this is sort of like a punishment area of sorts for humans, but not for Gorons. <laughs> um, on the 3DS version, they do make it a little bit clearer as to how far back you'll have to stand via some like little traction marks on the ground. But, well, this isn't the 3DS version. <laughs> So, get all the way back over to the wall, try and flip the camera over. Now, here's another trick to this. You gotta try and get yourself straight here while the camera's gonna be flipping around. And it, it does tend to like to flip around sometimes, so be careful of that. And if this box isn't here to break your, your passage stop there, you just release the button. So yeah, if that's broke because you rammed yourself into it, just continue on normally. <laughs> just, just by... Uh, just by stopping there and yeah, but that that box will come back and you flop back around anyway You can destroy those with the power of a Goron, but we don't really have access to that one On the other side of that ice there, so we're kind of gonna have to leave that for now We're kind of gonna have to go up here. I think for now I'm hoping that I remember this dungeon well enough. Yeah, there's a fairy down here. This is a bomb chew what it does, it, it yeah, it, it'll explode. It's a real bomb chew, not those mechanical ones. So if you approach it with a shield, yeah, you can just kind of knock it for a loop there and it won't hurt you at all. But if you don't know that, you're almost always going to take damage. <laughs> I mean, it does say that you can protect yourself if you talk to Tattle and whatnot, but hey, I will not know. Some people don't and you'll get blown up. <laughs> I'll get that stray fairy on my way around there back, obviously. It's a dungeon map, and that's what I came here for. It doesn't really help that much on this dungeon because of a certain door. Well, I should say a certain pillar around a certain door. You'll, you'll see <laughs> when we get there. Alright, let's go this way now. And it... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. See, this is a central room here. It's pretty tall, and uh, yeah, there's some jump things, and it's kind of complicated. So this is why the map doesn't really help you. <laughs> and there's a specific door that you need to sort of kind of get to in a way, to kind of navigate certain things when this met this giant pillar thingy that I'm on here comes up from the ground sometime around there. So yeah, keep that in mind. This is the stairs that come from the basement back up here, so I can just jump down there to uh, do that a little bit later. So instead, I'm going to go over to this door here and plop on here. And we got ourselves a little block puzzle thing of sorts. I guess it's not really a puzzle if you think about it. But basically, what we want to do is we want to put the blocks over here. See, there's a depression in the ground. Yeah, we got to get them all the way over there. So let's pull these blocks out. And as you can see by the map, there's a little bit of a room here behind those blocks. So I'll pull it out over to there and then I'll explore this room. Hello there, treasure chest. It contains a key. Of course, we're going to need all the keys. <laughs> oh, and you'll notice that I didn't reset time or anything before the dungeon. I realize that I'm making really good pacing in... I mean, I made, I made really good pacing in the first dungeon. So I was like, eh, I don't really think I need to reset time, because I'll probably be able to do it relatively quickly, or at least before two days pop up. And yeah, this, this chest we can't get to until later. 
but this is something we gotta set up for the future. And we also set up a jump for the future, from this platform over to this platform. Or wait, or maybe it was to this side, to this side. Well, either or, we set up two things there, and that is why I popped down over here. Now, I am going to just jump down here to the basement. Oh, that was a bad place to jump down. <laughs> this is a red bubble. Yeah, all you gotta do is shield yourself from it, and, uh, well, they don't really, they aren't really, they aren't really all that threatening, per se. Yeah, they just kinda do that, and when they go in the water, they reignite themselves. That's not what I'm down here for. We're, we're kinda here for other stuff, and I probably actually should be a Goron for this right here. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise I'll take, take a little damage if I don't go on there as a Goron. I don't think I can press it down if I'm human, either come to think of it because uh, it's hot and uh, it's it's large that chest contains a fairy by the way <laughs> I do believe that this is the staircase that leads back up to that area next to the door yes I am correct remember I said I was gonna show you that later there you go but that's not why I am doing that now I'm just kind of going around here in a Sort of kind of counterclockwise order of sorts. Hey, there's another fairy. Keep that in mind for your bottling needs, I suppose. So there's this switch. This is a reset switch for the central pillar. Uh, but I don't think you ever need to use that. Because I don't think there's any way to possibly screw up the central pillar thing. But anyway, why I came down here is actually just for this one door. Uh, which leads into a segment where... Oh, I thought, thought there's stuff that you can knock down from the ceiling in here. Wasn't there? Wasn't there? Oh no, wait, this is below the f the, the first room, that's right. Okay, that is alrighty with me. And, see, it's just so clunky being a Goron. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't feel... And it's like you can't roll around in here either to, to speed yourself along, because there is a... Uh, you just probably bounce off of stuff like a pinball. Uh, wait, was I not supposed to come in here just yet? I kind of forgot. Maybe I... Wait, no, no, no. Oh, that. Oh, that's sort of kind of like a... I guess you could say... No, wait, no, no, is that... No, that's right. I, yeah, hmm. Maybe I am wrong about that. We shall see how... <laughs> I just want to see here. Because I, I, I wanted to come here for some door, I thought, if I recall correctly. Maybe that was the one. I don't know, let me just take a look-see here one more time. Hold on, maybe it was because I need the power of the looking glass. Because I thought there was something hidden behind a wall in one of the rooms with pillars. And I don't remember if it was this one or if it was a, a later one. Uh, but, yeah, maybe it wasn't this one after all. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, by the way, another reason why you don't want to be rolling all the time is because if you go into spike mode, you'll use up your magic power. That's kind of sucky. <laughs> Alright, so, I guess it wasn't where I thought it was. I thought it was a fairy hidden in the wall, but... Anyway, now that I've got a key, I can go back through... Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Go back through... Oh, no, wait, that is correct. Oh, no! Oh! oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I would like to go back all the way through to the starter area, because that's where it was, that multi-junction room. Yeah, but luckily the stairs was right there, so I didn't burn that much time. Let's see if I can save time by... Oh, maybe, maybe I can't. I was going to say, see if I can save time by jumping that, but nah, there's no jump on that side. Alas, alas... But we can go up this way, I suppose. Which is alright, I suppose. I mean, it's just... Uh, I don't want to say it's a scenic route, but... <laughs> alright. No, no, I'm not bothering with you. <laughs> I defeated you once before. I don't need to do it again. Ah, clunkiness. <laughs> alright. Moving on with the groove on. And... Uh, I'd like to get all these guys out of the way here, because, uh, well, actually, maybe I don't have to. Uh, maybe I don't have to, although I'm not sure if a chest will appear if I kill them all off, though, or not. Oops, he did a double attack there, because he didn't touch my shield the first time. 
<laughs> that's what happens if they don't touch your shield. So yeah, that's yeah, one down. Yeah, I don't remember if another chest will appear if I kill that other one in the room, but I will open up... Uh, that's not the side. Open up this chest and get a compass, because that is over here. So that means we've got all of our dungeoneering supplies all set and ready to go. Now you can see our little arrow on there, and yes, yes. Obviously, we need bombs for this wall over here. There we go, I'll just let that explode. Voila! Voila! It was a cracked wall, basically. I thought I heard a second... Oh yeah, there was a second one in here. There you are. <laughs> I'll just see what happens if I kill him off. Just, just for kicks. Yeah, I just gotta kinda... Come on, touch my shield. Touch my shield. Yeah, I should be doing jump attacks. It's just probably a little bit faster to kill him off. But yeah. Woo! And when when he doesn't touch your shield, you just gotta delay your attack a little bit longer so that you don't go into his claw like I did before. But yeah, well, whatever. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, this was the one that I wanted to shoot stuff at the ceiling on. For one thing. Yeah, see all these things? That's, uh, that's a nice goal, just like the one we saw outside. And by outside, she means the uh, one outside Snowhead completely. So shoot him twice. Yep. Yeah. Gotta break all these things to traverse more easily. There we go. I don't. I think there's gonna be like a cutscene for each one of these. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't. I don't understand why they feel the need to do that for each and every one of these. <laughs> In all honesty, but you know this is Majora's Mask after all. You gotta, you got, you gotta understand. There's, there's, it's like there's purposeful annoyances in the in this game, and also uh, look out for those other ones that are stuck on the ceiling as well because they'll fall on you when you get nearby. So you might want to just kind of run around on those and uh, those pillars as quick as you can when you get on there so that they don't knock you off. Just put it that way. I'll grab that just because it's a nice little prize. And here's a little hint at something. Uh-huh, see that See that ledge there? It's it's a hidden wall. And if you open this up, it's, there's also a treasure chest on the map there off screen. But yeah, there's a stray fairy here. That that was the ledge that I was thinking of. That was with all these pillars. Because see how it kind of resembles that other room in a way? With the vertical pillars and whatnot. That's how I was going to shoot up at the ceiling when I was in that other one. And I, I can't really... I, I seriously can't jump up there from... Come on, you're telling me that Link does not have the jumping ability to get up there? I I find that completely hard to believe. Alright, Goron time. Break that open. Open this up. Get yourself a key. And get yourself out of this room. Um, I think actually this is probably a good time to end off the part, come to think of it, because we are <laughs> making pretty good progress on the dungeon, believe it or not. Like, look at how much, how many rooms we've seen already. Let's just, yeah, look at that, look at that, like that. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go through that door. Let's rapidly change forms to end off this part just for fun. Well as rapidly as we possibly can.